Hello and welcome back guys. Right, so in order to add some tests here, because we have a section here that says uh, tests, the thing is we don't want to add, um, we don't want to add the tests from here. Now the reason being is that if, if I click on add new here, I'll have to add two things. I'll have to add the test name and then the class that it belongs to. So that's too much information. If we can limit the information we have to ask the user, the better. So instead, what we will do is, if we go to class, a lecturer will have to go to a specific class and then go to tests to add a test. That way, the system already knows which class we are talking about. So he only has to add the test name or description. So what we will do here is um, in the classes section here, we have this system where if I click add, there's add class, and then there's delete class, and then there's edit class. So let's begin by creating those interfaces. So we're going to copy from the classes one, of course, and then just change them to test. So the class is class tab lecturers add remove. So this is not what we are talking about. The one we want is class, this one, class add, delete, and edit. So let's start with the class add. So class add dot view, add new class. The only difference is that um, the other one is in a tab. So when th things are in a tab, we don't need this here. Oops, I've edited that. We don't need the um, header and the navigation. Just like here, if I go to lecturers add, this is what I see instead. So maybe we will be forced to use this instead. So let me just copy everything from the lecturers add section. And then I'll create a new file here, new file, paste this. And then I will save this as um, class tab because we must maintain the system. Class tab tests, wait, 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 it should be add. Mm -hmm. So class tab lecturers add dot ink so instead of lecturers we change this one to test add dot ink yeah quite the mouthful but it's important for order and also we go to the or is this lecturer remove yeah this is where the fun ends because pff, hmm you know, I rather much prefer the class add system here. So let's see if we can compare and contrast what's what here. So here I just have a form and some results of the search down here. So it's really bare minimum. And in the class add here, so if I can just remove the container, uh, there's a card here and there's crumbs and then there's a yeah so I think we have our candidate here mm -hmm. so all I need is this section down here so this is in the classes add view so classes dot add dot view let's copy what we have here hopefully it has copied oops my mouse is beginning to be a nuisance and they select or add paste here. So save. Okay, so class tab add. Now I need to be able to include that one on the, if I go to my classes view, where is that? Yeah, single class view. Okay, so right here where there are tests, there's lecturer add, there's a student add. So we should also add the tests add. So right here, I will copy this 
and duplicate as intended move this up duplicate yes okay so this one is tests add and so here i'll do class tab tests without an s test add like so now i have to make sure this was an include class add include okay cool so that should work so in order to activate this if i go to the classes view uh where am i the class tab tests ink this one right here class tab tests include so it has an add test button so i have to send it to the correct place so let me do this so here it's going to the sign up which is totally wrong it should go to let's see if we are in a class and we are on test so the important thing is single class and then tab is equal to tests oh this is what it, what we are seeing here why are we seeing this one here we shouldn't be seeing this class tab tests ink uh, this is the include page wait a minute wait a minute single class view okay there we go so tests uh, there we go this is what we are supposed to add but how come we are doing this one tests oh so see my mistake here i forgot the break this is important there we go mm -hmm. okay because if you don't add the break it means this and this will both run at the same time so sorry about that my bad okay so we are good to go now if we click add i want to be able to click add so that goes to single class and then the class id and then tab is equal to tests add maybe it should be test singular add okay so to add that i'll go to class tab test inc <laughs> yeah these names are getting ridiculous so right here i'll say single class yes single underscore class and then slash now i want the id of the of the current class which the current class is inside row if i am not mistaken so row uh class underscore id and close that and then slash do we need a slash no we need a question mark tab is equal to test um, dash add like so okay moment of truth let's refresh let's see where this one is taking us and it seems we are headed in the right direction so if i click add then we go to add new class this is the wrong information simply because we haven't edited it so it's in class tab test add dot ink so add new test or we can just say add a test cool now what else do we need to change obviously we have much to change this error section remains the same but the inputs have to change so value instead of class it should be uh, test uh -huh. okay instead of class name it's uh, let's see test description test title maybe that makes more sense uh -huh. the title of this test great create and then this goes back to classes nope once we click cancel this has to go back to exactly uh, this link right here so i will copy this Um, actually not that but uh similar though 
so cancel paste so cancel goes to single class row class id and then the tab here is tests okay good so let's test that refresh add a test let's cancel we are back here click we are back here and create will be there very cool now um i think it would be a good idea to have a um a description yeah so let's try and add that on the text area uh -huh. and the placeholder does placeholder actually work here add a description for this tests description then here let's add a class of form control like so okay cool we are back here and there we are add a test description why so much gap between the two well let's go to the end to find out okay i'll copy these two put them here and leave one here like so all right good add a description for your tests uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay so which means we have to add this to the table so php my admin let's go to php my admin so we can add that okay but so far so good actually we didn't need these two here we just needed one one should be fine oops what have i done the mouse is terrible okay cool all right good anyway we'll add this one here but for now let's uh go to the edit version of this so back console uh, actually we can do that and we add one test so let's add at least one then it means it's back to here let's go to school db and let's go to tests and we just want to add one more column here so the column is going to be uh, just after test i think would be a good place to add it though it doesn't really matter and i'm going to say uh, description maybe not text text is a bit of overkill so let's do 2048 as the size and description like so okay pretty good we don't need no uh, indices for this one so that is it though we will need to add this to our model so let's go to our model and this is the tests model and allowed columns description should be there so description good okay so now it is allowed and in here we don't want to validate the the description because whether it's there or not uh, shouldn't bother us at all okay so cool mm -hmm. now to see if things will work so we need to do a submit to see if things work in the next video.